Why are so many people choosing to move to the Central Kentucky area? Instead of all the cliche answers that you guys are probably tired of hearing and seeing all over YouTube, like cost of living, we have all four seasons, we have beautiful rolling hills, blah, blah, blah. We're bringing you three local Kentucky residents instead to give you their point of view on why they think Kentucky's so great and why they think so many people are coming here. The questions we're gonna ask these interviewees should help them highlight some aspects of why they think Kentucky's so great, why people find it appealing, and hopefully we'll get maybe a personal story from them to help you as viewers who are researching, uh, you know, relocating to this area, a better understanding and maybe a more personalized perspective on why this is a great place to call home. willing to do this with us oh. because I know how helpful it's going to be for people coming to Kentucky. I know, you know, we kind of have this relocation niche in our real estate business and we work with relocators all over the country. Right. And a lot of them, a lot of them are coming from your home state mm -hmm. of California. Mm -hmm. uh, we're here with Kim today, one of our good friends. So if you're comfortable with it, would you mind telling the viewers where you reside in Kentucky, mm -hmm. about what general area, yeah. um, how long you've lived here, mm -hmm. and what you do for a living? Okay. Um, yeah, so we live in um, Warren County, so uh, just outside of Bowling Green, Oakland, and um, my husband and I live on our farm, and we are blueberry farmers, and uh, we grow um, blueberry plant stock and then other berries for consumption and, and then other projects. That's actually how we met. Um, we met through the Blueberry Association yep. when Jarrett and I had our farm, which was a good decade ago. Mm -hmm. But you and I didn't really get to know each other until about a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. So our husbands knew each other a little bit before, mm -hmm. but um, I'm so glad to finally be in Warren County with you yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> and we love this area. We do too. Yeah. So you're originally from California. Mm -hmm. And how long have you lived in Kentucky? We've been here for 31 years. It has flown. Um, a but long time. Yeah, Jeff and I both grew up on the West Coast, and he had grandparents from here. Okay. And so um, he always grew up coming to visit grandparents' farm. So he fell in love with it as a boy and knew he was going to live here. So yeah. inevitably, we landed here in 90, 92. Okay. So. I love it. You guys still have family in California. Mm -hmm. How often do you visit? I try to visit twice a year, so mm -hmm. and then they'll come this way as well. So. For 30 years? Mm -hmm. You've been doing that? Yeah. And how, how do you feel when you go? Do you feel like, I visited home, but Kentucky's my home too. Yeah, it did. It took a good, the first year, my heart was broken. Yeah. The second year, I settled in, and then I had my first child. So it was just, you know, this was home. Yeah. And then I just added on all the special parts about Kentucky that I love. So I kind of allowed yeah. myself to settle in and it's, it's me home. Too. Yeah. Me too, because I'm originally from Ohio. Mm -hmm. I think for me it took me five years to kind of settle in. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. it was it was hard because I had little babies at the time too mm -hmm. and you want to go home and see your parents yeah. and all the traveling can be difficult. Yeah. But in saying all that, I can totally re relate. Mm -hmm. And it took good five years for me to start feeling like Kentucky was home and I didn't miss home. Yeah. And it took a good five years for me to get through the allergy seasons. Yeah, true. <laughs> and feel like, oh, I can actually breathe now. Yeah. I've gotten used to it. Yeah. Honey helps, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> local honey. <laughs> <laughs> they sell local honey. I just got a couple questions. Mm -hmm. I want you to relate to the audience on um, really the basic topic of this interview is for you guys as residents to kind of give your opinion on why you think Kentucky is a good place to call home mm -hmm. and why we think so many people are coming here, mm -hmm. like currently. There's a lot like of, to wrap your mind around yeah. why that's happening now in 2023, um, but you know, why do you think? So I'm gonna just ask you a couple questions. Okay. What unique qualities or experiences does Kentucky offer 
that you believe make it an attractive place to live? Mm. Um, I think if I had to pick just first off um, from a personal experience, my sense of having things spread out, yeah. being able to breathe the air and see the landscape. And I know that there's a lot of that where we came, where we came from, but yeah. where we lived, um, I, I didn't have the opportunity to feel the dirt and to yeah. plant and, and to grow on, on a larger scale. Yeah. But just, and, and then just the, the hometown feel, I think that was, ironically enough, the first thing that really kind of made me like, why are they talking like that? <laughs> and, yeah. But then now it's like, it's my heart, you know? Yeah. So, um, I can really yeah, that I think well. just uh, the opportunity for my family and, and young children yeah. um, learning um, about where their food source comes from. And yeah, that's amazing. And enjoying you know, the land. Um, next question. In your opinion, how has Kentucky evolved or changed in recent years to make it a more desirable place to live? Has it changed oh, in 30 it, years? It has changed tremendously. Yeah. Um, just, well, one, just the growth, bring, bringing in different cultures and then a lot of opportunity for just, you know, shopping opportunities and um, I always think that with growth brings a lot more just opportunities for yeah. you know, fun things to do and for sure it has really, it's grown a lot. So. Yeah, especially in Warren County, mm -hmm. I think, being like the third largest, Bowling Green being the third largest city in Kentucky right. in the last 20 years, mm -hmm. for sure, yeah. I've been here 22 years. For sure, we've seen growth, mm -hmm. and even the smaller towns. Yeah, um, Elizabeth Town has taken off quite a bit, and it's still growing. Yeah, but yeah, so you can say that in thirty years, you feel like maybe yeah. there's more to do here, and uh -huh. there's more of a cultural, mm -hmm. diverse. Uh, what what's the word I'm looking to? Like added to the population. Yeah, I love that I can be you know thirty minutes out, or I should say, for me, twenty minutes. I am in the middle of town. Yeah. I can come home and in 20 minutes I see nothing but my farm. Yeah. But in 20 minutes I can be right smack in the middle of a really cute bustling square on Main Street and yes. just just sit and be part of the community, you know. That's so, what I love about yeah. it too. And I know I talk about that a lot in our videos, but it's the truth yeah. and it's so good to hear that like yeah. you concur. That's the experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Is there like a story or experience mm -hmm. that exemplifies why Kentucky is a great place to for you and your family mm -hmm. to call home. Like is there, other than I guess, maybe we already covered it, that mm -hmm. you said, you know, you got to experience yeah. farm life here in a more tangible way mm -hmm. than you would have in California? Um, I think mostly, having been here for, you know, 31, 32 years, seeing all of my children grow up from young and then now married and having a small little set of grandkids, um, watching them enjoy being a part of um, growing on the land and yeah. appreciating creation the way that we're able to mm -hmm. has been just very gratifying, I know, for both my husband and I. And really one of his dreams is just kind of picking up where his grandparents left off and mm -hmm. just being able to realize that it's been really so worth it. Yeah, uh, we can definitely relate because, mm -hmm. you know, we've had our farm as well for that period of time in our yeah. life. Our seasons have changed for us, but Jarrett has recently done a video on buying land in Kentucky, and you guys can check that out, but he did talk about that. Mm -hmm. How it, when you just, when you write, if you get the opportunity to be so fortunate to raise your kids in a farm or country-like setting, like many of the places Kentucky offers, um, it just can do so many great things for your family. Mm -hmm. And they're hard to explain yeah. because they, they run pretty deep. Yeah. Yeah, and it becomes who you are. And it can be a generational thing, mm -hmm. and it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Really, we only have one more question. Okay. Um, in a nutshell, just in a nutshell, because it's this can be a um, a heavy, in-depth conversation. Why do you think so many people are coming to Kentucky? I think for well, I, I know everyone has their own reasons, but probably because of a lot of the things I spoke about that we spoke about, just mm -hmm. being able to have affordable land that you can um, call your own, do with what you want, and um, just the opportunity for a different culture yeah. and, um, and, and those opportunities. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I love all your answers. And I really appreciate your time You're welcome. doing this with me. It, again, it, it helps viewers, it helps people researching you know, where they want to live. 
decide for themselves rather than hearing just from us all the time. Yeah. So thank you so much yeah, for your time. You're welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. You too. If you're comfortable, can you tell me what part of Kentucky you live in and kind of what you do for a living? Yeah. Um, live in Western Kentucky, a town called Madisonville. It's in Hopkins County. Uh, they call it the best town on earth. Uh, that I mean, might be a stretch. That's what they call it. Say anything else? A um, little small town, uh, 20,000 or so uh, people here, less, a little less than that. Um, it's really more of a uh, rural area. Uh, used to be big coal mining area uh, several, several years ago. Uh, most of that's you know gone at this point. Uh, but I am a uh, residential appraiser. I was born and raised here, uh, moved away, spent some time in Hardin County, and then I came back here to, to Hopkins County and been here now, I think, nine years. Nine years this time. So you basically, you live here all your life, but what, 10 years maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that's about that's about right. I was in E-Town, Elizabethtown, uh, for about 10 years out of, out of my 46. And then we've been friends for 25 years. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. We met, actually, it's kind of funny, we met through your cousin Brad. Yeah. But we texted or something back when you had the... Yeah, the flip phone and you, had to, <laughs> yeah, you had to push the numbers to get to the text. So, so that's how long we've been, yeah. fr that's how long we've been friends. So yeah. do that. Um, so this is my friend Jeremy Hargis. Like I said, we've been pretty much, at this point, I would almost call you a lifelong friend. Yeah. And so we were in each other's wedding. And so, you know, I reached out to him, asked him if he would do this video with us and kind of do this interview with us. And he was so graciously to accommodate. So getting back to what we were talking about, kind of, kind of the interview is what kind of unique or attractive qualities does Kentucky have that makes it a good place to live? I think Kentucky is unique in that there is a little bit of everything. Um, you, you can go low-end poverty and high-end wealth. In, in about a couple of hours. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter where you live. It, it, in two hours, you can be in a place where, wherever you want to be. If you want to go see some hills and mountains and streams, it's right around the corner. If you want to go to a big city, it's right around the corner. Centrally located. One bad part about Kentucky is the weather. It's also a good part, but it's a bad part <laughs> no, because you, you can experience all four seasons in one day. <laughs> November. November, you can have mm. summer, spring, fall, and winter in in a course of twenty four hours. In no particular order. In no particular order. <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, it's funny. I think I always kind of joke. I say Kentucky to me seems to be the sweet spot in the country because we're far enough south that everybody's friendly. Yeah. But we're far enough north that everybody's normal. <laughs> right, <laughs> and, uh, right. You know, being in, in Kentucky, as far as um, it's just a really friendly place. I mean, there's some unfriendly places in the state. Sure. Yeah. But, I mean, it's that's that, that way anywhere, but. Kind of going back yeah, to by that. and large, though, you get you know a lot of it's it's not that everybody's related or you know, anything anything weird like that, but people, especially in this part of the country, people tend to try to take care of one another. Mm -hmm. And um, we we actually had a, a tornado that came through Hopkins County uh, about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago now. Talking about Dawson Springs. Da in Dawson Springs, and I mean it it just absolutely decimated that little town, and there was so much outpouring of help. It came from this area, um, almost like okay, too much. Like we, we, you're helping too much now. And everybody, you know, everybody knows somebody that was affected on, on a personal level. And um, you, you just really see like small town USA come together. It, that's what this is. That's that's Kentucky. No, I agree. So, in your opinion, how has Kentucky evolved in a, into a better place to live over the last few years? Over the last few years, I think that Kentucky has added several of the of the new tech jobs throughout our state. Politics aside, we've added a lot of different industries to to our state that has made it more more and more attractive. Our taxes aren't aren't terrible. I mean, they're they're very comparable and even better than some uh, that are close to us. So it's an attractive place to be. And then you you know you throw in the feeling of home that, mm -hmm. that you get when you're here. My old Kentucky home. My old Kentucky home, people taking care of one another, all of the aspects of, you know, the geography of the area. It's beautiful. Like, this place is, is gorgeous. Um, you know, there's a... My favorite drive in the state is Highway US 150, and you're going from Bardstown to Danville. Oh, 100%. Stone fences line the road, rolling hills. If somebody doesn't know anything about Kentucky other than horse farms, 
it's beautiful. And, you know, I could be there in under two hours. Like I could be on that road in less than two hours from where I'm at here. I think the drive is equally as pretty as from um, Mumfordville to Glasgow on 31E. Yeah. Same. Yeah, same thing. Same, same it's same just thing. beautiful. But it's, it's crazy here because we're just on that <laughs> note. Like you can you can be in the middle of Madisonville, which is how many people? Like it's 19,000-ish. Right. So which is a decent sized town for Kentucky. Mm-hmm. And then you can go 20 minutes and you can be on one of the river bottoms or, oh, yeah. or you know, and, and be down at the river or you can go, you go west here, it's flat because you're in what they, what the Delta, the Delta bottoms, I mean, the Ohio River, <clears> like river bottom yeah. ground, or you go, you know, you go towards Sacramento and you start getting into the Rolling Hills. Yeah. Between here and Owensboro. So, yeah. in a nutshell, you kind of touched on this earlier, but can you share like a personal story that would make, why do you think Kentucky is such a great place to call home? Why do you think so many people are relocating to Kentucky right now? Because I think Kentucky gives people a chance to live going forward in the future, but there's still a lot of nostalgia that's here. It's not like you're stepping into a time capsule, but there is this sense of home that is in Kentucky, that is unique to Kentucky, that I think it resonates with people. And as much as we're divided in this country over all sorts of things, a place like Kentucky brings people together and it unifies us and it reminds us, you know, hey, we're all in this together. Well, Mark Twain said it best, if the world ends, he wants to live in Kentucky because everything happens 20 years later. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> it's actually very true. So, and I agree. I think uh, it goes kind of goes back to, like I said, we're in that sweet spot of the country. We're mm -hmm. far enough south that people are friendly and they want to help. But we're far enough north that they don't, people are still good to each other and yeah. everybody's pretty uh, welcoming. Yeah, and I think that there's been there's been a lot of celebrities and whatnot that's made Kentucky more popular. Mm. Uh, I think back when we were little kids, I always thought Kentucky to be in the South mm. because that's the way that the media portrayed us to be in the South. And I think that that's shifted some. I think that now people just understand Kentucky's just kind of a melting pot, and it's it's really neither because it's both. And I think that that's us. We're a border state, if yep. you will. I think some of the friendliest people I've ever met. Our Kentucky people. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jeremy, I appreciate it. Yep, anytime. All right, sir, we'll get out of here. Right on. Hey, everybody, I'm now here with uh, Monica. She's our new friend and acquaintance um, here in the Warren County, Bowling Green area. Um, our daughters actually met and became friends, and so I got to know you just a little bit mm -hmm. over the past, well, school year. Yeah. And so she's going to help us kind of relate to some more personable reflection and perspective from a Kentucky resident. So hopefully it's helpful to you guys. Um, yes, I, um, I'm a teacher at the local high school, five minutes away. I have been a teacher my whole adult life, sometimes at home, sometimes at private school, public school, different grades. Oh, how long have you how lived, long have lived here? So I grew up here, moved here when I was 10 um, from Tennessee. Lived right here in Bowling Green. My parents still live here, just 10 minutes away um, in Bowling Green, in the same house. And so I've lived here since I was 10, grew up, got married, moved away, and lived in a few different places. Was gone for about 12 years and then came back. And so we've only been back here almost two years now. That's awesome. So Kentucky resident your whole life. Yeah. I just hopped much, around. Right. Yeah. Lived in Alabama for a short stint and that's it. Okay. <laughs> well, here in the South, a couple yeah. states away, kind of the same state, right? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Same general area of the South. The South. <laughs> Being here your whole life, um, what unique qualities or experiences do you think Kentucky offers that makes it a great place to live? Um, especially right here in South Central Kentucky, I love how it's a it's a good city here in Bowling Green. But also you can get to Nashville in less than an hour. You can go to Louisville in two hours. You can go to Mammoth Cave National Park in 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, so you, you can be out at a great lake, very very close by, yeah. lots of lakes. Um, so you just have a lot of variety. If you want to be in the country with the Amish, you can go visit the Amish farm. You can be in the city just in the same time. Right. And then also just have community right here. Right. It's such a good answer because that's what we keep saying mm -hmm. over and over in our videos. And yeah. it's so good to hear that, like, you yeah. agree. Yeah. And that's what comes from, you know, the locals that we talk to all the time. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. such a neat, and Jeremy even said the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's such a neat place because the state really isn't that big. Right. And you can be in a small rural country area or out on the lake. Right. And if you want a night out on the town, well, it's only an hour away. Right. So, yeah, it is good. It's yeah, really we fun. love it too. Um, okay, next question. In your opinion, how has Kentucky changed over the years? 
or evolved mm -hmm. to become more desirable for mm -hmm. people who are moving here. Yeah. Because that's the whole purpose of this mm -hmm. this interview really is talking to people who want to relocate to right. Kentucky and trying to really understand like what's the craze right. of why so many people are coming here. Yeah, I think economically it's you know, it's good, um, tax rates and things like that, things are not way overpriced, you know. Yeah. The economy now there's always <laughs> yeah, it feels that high. way no matter where you are, but in general I think the economy is good. I think the just the culture has changed. It's not just you're either a city kid or a country kid anymore. There's a lot of in between yes. in cities like this where um, we're getting a lot of diversity. We have a lot of immigrants. We yes. have an international center that brings families in from all over the world. Yeah. And so all of those communities are building up and our community is very welcoming of all of those, right. but then you can just, you know, in a couple of weeks there's international festival and you can see countries all over the world right. down in Circus Park I'm actually of Bowling looking Green. forward to yeah. going to that. Yeah. It's really fun. So that's a change for sure that maybe 30 years ago when I was a kid it wasn't as diverse, but now it's what it is and it's, and it's beautiful, you know, yeah. it's not, it's very welcoming. Yeah. So. I can relate, and I'm from, um, I come from a bigger suburb of mm -hmm. Columbus, Ohio, yeah. originally through my childhood, so I can relate to what you're saying in really enjoying a culture of diverse, different mm -hmm. people. Yeah. And um, moving to Kentucky, I have also seen how that's changed, involved, and grown mm -hmm. into a better yeah. experience for all cultures. Yeah. 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 That's a really good answer. Only two more questions, really. Okay. Do you have any personal stories or example of like something that exemplifies why you feel Kentucky is a great place for you to call home? Yeah. Like any personal things that really touched your heart about Kentucky that like this is what makes Kentucky feel like home? I think, and I'm sure it's true of anywhere you live, your family makes it feel like home, but I've also lived in cities where I didn't have family, so um, in Kentucky, and people naturally do have a sense of family, whether you get involved in a church or school or just in the community with you know Mammoth Cave National Park we used to live pretty close to that and so that was a neat thing to be able to just we need a break let's go to the National Park down the street and it was you know a beautiful place to walk around and just feel at home in Kentucky I love the diversity of people that you're around where you can go from being with you know downtown and something that's special like at Sky Pack go to something like a fun night out on the town or go to the country and feel very at home with laid yeah. back people. Yeah. So to me that's just that's my experience in Kentucky is going from one extreme to the other and feeling feeling like home in either one. Yeah. Because you can experience both. Yeah. And you feel comfortable in both settings. Yeah. And you enjoy both settings. Right. So that type of area that offers both of those things makes you right. feel like this is a place I like to call home. Right. Yeah, me too. Last and final question. In a nutshell just in a nutshell, because I've said this before, this is a hard topic, especially currently in today's world with everybody relocating and mm -hmm. people working remotely, but why do you think so many people are choosing Kentucky to come relocate to? I think I think it's just a, a, the general atmosphere of it is good. Besides the economy, I think that, you know, people do consider politics, so I think really either side of the aisle that you're on, mm -hmm. there's a place for you, mm -hmm. and you feel supported no matter what you're political affiliation, I think. So I think that's important to a lot of people. And then I think just the sense of community, because we're getting so many new people from around the world, people are very welcoming. And so you can quickly find your place, whether it's an in industry or education or, you know, it's something for your, for your kids. Our schools are very good. And so you, I think you can quickly assimilate to a new community in Kentucky. Good answer. I like that too. And again, we've said those things a lot. You're yeah. confirming like a lot of things that we talk about. Yeah. And hopefully it'll help our viewers go, oh, okay, like these things are real things. Okay. Like it's very easy to connect here yeah. because there's so many different types of lifestyles mm -hmm. or different types of people. Mm -hmm. And so it's very easy to find your people yeah. and your, your place to call home, yeah. your space here. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's kind of fit right in and be welcomed. Mm -hmm. Most people, if you agree, yeah, are very welcoming here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I really appreciate your <laughs> okay. time. Thank You're you so welcome. much for doing this interview and hope it was helpful to you guys. So, what did you guys learn, if anything, from you know hearing from some local residents? I thought the interviews were great. Comment down below if they said anything that was maybe new to you or surprising to you or something that you can relate with. Uh, a couple of things I learned was 
wow, all the things that we already think and know about our home state of Kentucky are actually true. <laughs> These particular interviews helped like confirm what we already feel and love about our home state of Kentucky. So if you are researching coming here, we welcome you to the state of Kentucky. And if you're looking for some help in getting here, well, you can always feel free and reach out to us. Our information is always in the link below. We run one of the best relocation teams right here in central Kentucky, and we would love the opportunity to answer any questions you have about relocating to Kentucky or working with you to help you find your perfect Kentucky home. Now we've done two things for you. One is we've created a free relocation guide regarding all things about relocating to Kentucky. And you'll find that downloadable in the link below. Second thing is we have a free first time home buyers guide. We get a ton of first time home buyers that contact us. Sometimes things can get confusing and this guide should help with some A to Z things from looking at a home to getting your keys. Also downloadable in the link below. I hope the interview was somewhat helpful and we will see you guys on our next video.